Hey all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, topic that we will look at today is uh, credit default swap. Basically, we will look at just a definition and high level understanding of what the credit default swap is. Before I proceed, uh, I would strongly recommend you to subscribe to my channel and uh, like, comment and share with your peers as well to get uh, regular updates from my channel. So let's look at uh, what credit default swap is. So it is a derivative contract in which protection buyer transfer the credit risk to the protection seller by paying fixed periodic payment to protection seller. So uh, this is a definition basically or just a one liner explanation if I were to give, but uh, to explain a little more in detail, uh, assume that party A holds uh, some corporate bonds wherein, uh, say for example, it has a 1 million uh, amount of corporate bonds of corporate X and uh, it, it, uh, it has notion that uh, that corporate may default and uh, I may not get my principal back. So what it does, what party A does, uh, it reaches out to party B. Usually, uh, investment banks are the uh, the parties who sells the protection to the uh, common uh, investors. So, party A reaches out to bank. So, it asks for the protection on the amount that party A has invested in the corporate X. So uh, what party B asked for, they asked for a regular premium. Like it, it's, it's very uh, similar to the insurance contract wherein we buy life insurance by paying a premium to the life insurance company. So we say, for example, we pay premium for 20, 30 years. And uh, if in between, if any unfortunate event happens, then insurance company pays us some amount that which is called some assured so that's that's very similar to the credit default swap wherein slight difference is uh, here you may or may not hold the underlying so like in our example party a may not hold the bond of corporate x but it can still buy credit default swap from the party b on that underlying asset so uh, if there is a default by corporate x then party A will receive the complete notional amount from the party B. If there is no default, then party B will uh, enjoy the receiving premium amounts uh, for the duration of the credit default. So it's usually a five year tenure and the premium that counterparty has to pay is 1% uh, or 5% in basis point is 100 bips or 500 bips. So this is about a very high level explanation about the credit default swap. So uh, next video, think of, <clears throat> excuse me, think of uh, how the def credit default swap valuation happens. So that we'll cover in the next video. This video was basically for explaining, explaining how, uh, what is a credit default swap. Hope you liked the video. If yes, please do comment and share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.